this is the joy of having a connected hotel. It's raining in India right now. I wanted to say it was cold, but actually it might just be cold because I am in an air conditioned area. But uh, I just got up this morning. It is raining, it's gross. And uh, I didn't have a rain jacket to actually bring with me to Indy this year. So Derek and I were gonna share one. Turns out he needs it. So um, I have to go to the mall to get myself a rain jacket or an umbrella or something like that because the rain may not go away. And maybe at some point I'll have to leave and um, go outside. So. I'm in a connected hotel, I'm in the Westin. It's connected directly to the Indiana, um, Convention, Cent Indiana Convention Center. And I never have to leave this, this, I never have to go outside to get to the mall. So I could get from the Westin, which is where I just was, to the Convention Center, which is where I am right now. And then I can take the skywalk to the mall's um, parking garage, which will take me right into the mall itself. So it's pretty great. I bought an umbrella and now I'm too lazy to use it. Yay! Um, I'm just running from the west end to the Marriott. They're not, they're right next door to each other, so it's not a big deal, but it's just, I'm the worst. <laughs> Can you tell us what the pin thing is about? 
uh, the, the pin bazaar uh -huh. and the pin trading. So we're going to have um, certain companies and gaming groups will have a certain amount of pins at Gen Con this year. I think there's 40 or something like that. Um, and you can get those from the companies. Some of them are selling them. Some of them are giving them away. Some of them require that you do a demo of their game. Um, they'll be at various booths. You can get the list online of where those are going to be. In addition, staff, which will be um, like myself, but also the people that you'll see that are wearing the black uh, vests that might say te event team on the back of them, will have certain rare pins that they'll be able to trade one for one with you. Uh, you need to trade them a pin bazaar to get their exclusive rare pins, and I believe there are four different kinds of those. In addition, you can go to Lucas Oil at 3.30 every day and go to the pin trading meetup where you can also get an exclusive pin to pin trade. And you don't, that's not a one for one trade, they'll just give you a pin. Uh, so um, I would recommend you look at the list of pins and you decide which ones that you want to get and maybe make a little path, maybe make a little map in the dealer hall and uh, figure out what you want. Um, I think the most popular one is probably gonna be the Disney Villainous one, which is gonna look very similar to similar to that card. To our key cards. Mm -hmm. Pin plan is the, <laughs> the, the uh, pin flyer was already available online, which I printed out, decided which pins I wanted. I found- <coughs> So know, does it have pictures of all the It has pins? pictures of all I'm the I'm gonna pins. link that in the description part. And then uh, I just took a printed map of the exhibit hall because the, the flyer tells you what booths they are in and you can go through and match them and make a plan. And my plan this year is normally I wa watch the opening ceremonies and the annual running of the, the fat beards as they, <laughs> but I am going to forego that this year and go to the back entrance to the that opens up into the hall and work my way back to front for the pins that I want. You've like created a little hat. Like this is the nerdiest way to plan anything. Like I can't figure any other industry that would just like pre-plan how they enter the venue in a way that is maximum efficiency. It, it's a well, it's a very large exhibit hall, though. I mean, there are people who do yeah. it for the games that they want to. Circle Center uh, Monument to get a to just try and see if I can get inside because you can go inside the monument and go to the top and see the view but every year I usually go it's closed because it's too hot and I think the temperature is like 140 degrees and it just cooks people so since it was raining I thought I would try that up but apparently the internet says it's gonna be closed I'm running out of things to do so now I'm gonna walk to Kroger's and get some groceries so I was gonna head to the zoo, like I said, but this weather is not conducive to doing sightseeing at the zoo. So uh, <laughs> apparently all my plans are just really wacky today and I don't really have much of them. So we'll just explore and we'll see what happens today. So remember I said you should bring um, well broken in shoes. I did, uh, I was on my way to Kroger's, but I was passing by the Westin and uh, they're too broken in. They have like a couple of, there's not holes in the shoes themselves, but they're aged well. So I stepped in a puddle and it completely soaked. Um, see in the back here, completely soaked my shoes on the inside. So I have another pair of boots with me that is um, that is not even broken in yet. So this is a good opportunity to break them in, test them out, walk with them for a little while, um, and then go to Kroger's. Also, update. Uh, I'm in the hotel room and look what they left us. Uh, <laughs> what is, uh, I mean, it's very on brand. Um, I think this is chocolate. This is just super cute. And then they left us an array of sodas. That is adorable. One more update. The, remember earlier I showed you like all of the fire trucks on the road? Well, it turns out like they're in the parking building right near where I was, it was like a car fire or something that triggered like water and then water leaked and it leaked right into um, Noodle and Company and Dick's Last Resort and they're flooded and they're gonna be closed for Gen Con. That is 
those are like the two closest restaurants to Gen Con that you can possibly get to pretty much. For them to be closed, it's, it's gonna be interesting. And I'm, I'm just really sorry that they have to go through that because they brought, they, I bet you, they bought so much food. Like the first year Noodle Co. and Lustix opened, they ran out of food on, on like day one or two of Gen Con. So they've learned their lesson to way over order ingredients and to have a leak and now be closed for Gen Con, I can't imagine. Yeah, so we just go around, talk to everybody, have some quick meetings, uh, confirm when things are being set up. This is also when everybody realizes that, oh no, they forgot their badges or their requests or something else. So we have a whole lot of emails of, these are last minute issues I need to fix, and we're trying to figure out how we can get them done in time. 